Charles Murray, who, with your wife, Catherine Bly Cox, is the author of a new book called Apollo, The Race to the Moon. What's the message of the book, as far as you're concerned? Of the book Apollo, the message is it was a magnificent adventure. Uh, we don't really pay too much attention to the, the, the great uh, social significance of it, uh, which isn't to say it didn't have any, but our notion was that you had a fascinating set of people who've never been talked about, and we wanted to give a chance uh, for people to learn about them. And Catherine Bly Cox, the other half of the writing team. What did you learn in writing this book that you didn't expect to learn? One thing that I learned, certainly my background is in English literature. I've never done anything like this uh, <clears throat> in the technological world. And that is how absolutely fascinating the characters are who choose to take on a task like this. I had thought we would run into engineers, perhaps, who had trouble talking to people outside their own fields about what they were doing. These are the most interesting people I think I've ever met in my life. Well, this strikes me as a book that is chock full of stories about people, and it's not necessarily presidents and astronauts. Who is the, as far as you're concerned, either one of you, who's the most interesting person that you encountered, either personally or in research about this book? Oh, I guess that uh, Mad Don Arabian has to be one of them. Uh, Don Arabian was in charge of what they called the, the test division there, which is that when, when the flights were going on, you had mission control, which everybody saw on the television screens. And then you had this little room back uh, a few buildings away in which you had all these engineers uh, scrambling around, sitting at desks, uh, watching the monitors, and they were in charge of fixing hardware problems when they occurred. And this fellow, Don Arabian, was uh, in his appearance um, sometimes a little crazy. He would scream and shout and, and grin and, uh, and, and go his own way and come up with his own solutions, and his mind worked in his own uh, special way. It was also true that given these incredible problems that would be coming up out of nowhere when the thing is half a, million, a quarter of a million miles away from home, he would be the one who was working out solutions to them.